It's not summer without some fresh Michigan vegetables. Our friend Gina Ferreira just knows how true that is. She's got some amazing recipes for us to try out, including this one. That's a new spin on a classic dish to make it pure Michigan. So today I want to show you a modern twist on the traditional green bean casserole. I am going to show you my asparagus casserole topped with my fried asparagus shavings. And all we're going to do is we're going to swap out the green beans for America's royal vegetable, my favorite, uh, the asparagus spear. So we're going to make our green bean casserole with asparagus. And then instead of the French fried onion topping, we're going to put these beautiful asparagus shavings fried on top. So let me show you how we make this. Okay, so we have the salted water going here to blanch the asparagus. But first, we want to take our thickest spears, just like this, and we want to make some asparagus shavings. We want to do about two cups of that before we blanch our um, bite-sized pieces. So all we're going to do is just take the, hold on to the tip right here, and then we're just going to shave down these little shavings, get about two cups of those shavings right in here and then we can take the tip off once we're done and then that's going to go in so we are going to go ahead and blanch the rest of that asparagus one to two minutes and rinse that with really cold water stop that from cooking and stay green so our asparagus shavings are soaking in some milk we're going to let that go oh about an hour or so so let's go ahead take our salted water boiling salted water and add all of our cut up asparagus and we're gonna blanch that for just a minute or two. Plunge that into some ice cold water, stop the cooking process, keeps it green, set this aside. Butter, mushrooms, garlic, and some chopped onions and we're just gonna throw that over some heat and we are gonna cook that. We want all of the moisture to come out, the mushrooms to brown, the onions to get translucent, once all the moisture reabsorbs uh, from here, we're then going to add some flour. We're ready to add our flour. So all we're going to do is add our flour and then we just going to cook that until we don't see the flour anymore. No optional. It's a splash of sherry cooking wine. Not sherry vinegar, but sherry cooking wine. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in and then we are going to cook that. And then now we are ready to add in our chicken stock and our heavy cream. Oh my goodness, this is smelling so good. This is gonna be perfect for all of the asparagus when we add that back in and make this casserole. Okay, so now I just added the heavy cream with the chicken stock and we're gonna stir that and just let that thicken. Stop the bacon up, throw it in a skillet and cook that over medium high heat. So here we have the cream of mushroom soup, the bacon back in, all of the Parmesan cheese, the blanched asparagus. Mix all of that up, throw that in a casserole dish. I've just shredded up some smoked Gouda. Do whatever shredded cheese that you like and then just throw that on. This is now gonna go in the oven while we make our fried asparagus shavings for the top. I have my oil in a deep heavy pot. Uh, you want that about 350 to 375 degrees and we're just gonna take a couple cups of flour. I have my house seasoning which is salt, pepper, granulated garlic, onion, and smoked paprika. Go ahead and just make sure all of that is thoroughly combined and then we're gonna take our asparagus shavings. So we had soaked those in milk while we were making the rest of the mixture so we're just gonna go ahead and take those out and lightly dredge those. They, we're just gonna throw them in. And of course, you wanna be very careful when you're putting them in, don't throw them, um, but you're gonna put them in the oil uh, and make sure that they are not gonna clump up. We're gonna do just a little bit at a time. And we're just gonna go a few minutes with these because we just want them to be nice and crispy. Yeah. Asparagus shavings out. We're just going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of salt. It all comes out of the oven. It is hot and bubbly. All we're going to do is take, oh my goodness, all of those asparagus uh, shavings that we fried. 
and we are gonna dig in. This is perfect for any barbecue, cookout, side dish, also Thanksgiving. It is the perfect asparagus casserole for your next gathering. Need this recipe? Go ahead and click on our website. Mmm, yet again, another mouth-watering recipe from Gina. Of course, we've got this on 13onyourside.com, and you can check out more that Gina has to offer under those links.